Let us see some keywords which we are going to use in this lesson. So if you know these keywords and meaning of that keyword and explanation of that, you can easily understand the concept. Let us see one by one the keywords. What is a wave? Wave means a wave is a vibration of a medium that moves from one point to another carrying the energy but not the medium itself with it. A wave is a, a vibration of a medium. It means that if you take the water, when we throw a stone into the water, it vibrates. It vibrates a medium that is nothing but water and it moves from one point to another carrying the energy. It is carrying only energy but not the medium itself with it. It's not taking the medium but it is passing energy from one point to another point. So that we can see when we throw a stone into the water, we can see ripples in that water. So those are nothing but waves. That is nothing but a wave. Now you understood what is a wave. The next keyword is spectrum. Spectrum is a group of wavelengths or frequencies. What is a spectrum? Spectrum is a group of wavelengths or frequencies. What is wavelength and what is frequency? We will see. What is wavelength? Just now we studied about uh, different wavelengths or different frequencies, uh, a combination of uh, what we can say, a group of wavelengths like that. Then what is wavelength? The wavelength of a wave is the distance from one wave peak to the next. What is wavelength means? The wavelength of a wave is a distance from one wave peak to the next. If you draw a, a diagram of a wave, there are two peaks. Distance between those two peaks is nothing but wavelength. Frequency. What is frequency? The frequency is represented with V. The frequency of a wave, the number of wave peaks that passes by a given point per unit line. It means that how many times in a given time, in a given point per unit time, how many times the peaks are coming. How frequent the peaks are coming is nothing but frequency. Let us see once again. The frequency of a wave is nothing but the number of wave peaks that passes by a given point per unit of time. Remember that per unit of time, how many peaks are passing by a given point? That is nothing but frequency. Relation between frequency and wavelength. There should be a relation between frequency and wavelength. That is nothing but the relation between frequency and wavelength is equal to C is equal to V lambda. V is the frequency, lambda is the wavelength. What is electromagnetic spectrum means? The entire range of electromagnetic wave frequencies, the complete range of electromagnetic wave frequencies is known as electromagnetic spectrum. Coming to visible spectrum, what is visible spectrum? The name itself indicates in that it is the visible thing. Means it is visible for our naked eye. So that we are saying it as visible. And spectrum means we know. It is a group of wavelengths or frequencies. What type of what group of these wavelengths are? These group of wavelengths or frequencies are visible to our naked eye. So that we are calling it as visible spectrum. The range of wavelengths covering red color to violet color is called the visible spectrum. It means that only within that range, within that uh, wavelength or frequency only, our naked eye can identify that colors. So that the visible spectrum, we can say that the range of wavelengths covering from red color to violet is called visible spectrum. That can be seen in a rainbow. That is or colors will be there in the rainbow. So these or colors are in the rainbow colors are in the range of frequency where our human eye can identify and can see that so that we are able to see the rainbow. What is line spectrum? Line spectrum means each element emits its own characteristic color corresponding to certain discrete wavelengths or light. That is called line spectrum. Previously we studied about spectrum is a group of wavelengths or frequencies. Then what is line spectrum? Each element emits its own characteristic color corresponding to certain discrete wavelengths of light and that is called line spectrum. It means that 
Based on the wavelength, each element emits its own characteristic color. That is nothing but a line spectrum. Emission line spectrum. What is emission line spectrum? The energy emitted by the electron is seen in the form of electromagnetic energy and when the wavelength is in the visible region, it is visible as an emission line spectra. Just now we read about what is the visible spectrum. The energy emitted by an electron is seen in the form of electromagnetic energy because electrons will emit energy to come back its position. When we give energy to the electron, it will go to the outermost shell and when it is coming back to the, its original state, it releases energy and that will be appeared as a light. The energy emitted by the electron is seen in the form of electromagnetic energy and when the wavelength is in the visible region, it may be in visible region or it may not be in a visible region. When it is in a visible region, it is visible as emission light spectra. So finally, emission light spectra is nothing but the energy emitted by the electron is seen in the form of electromagnetic energy and when the wavelength is in the visible region, it is visible as an emission line spectra. The emission line spectra is nothing but it is visible to our naked eye. These are the keywords we need to remember before going to a lesson.